Hey, what is up everybody? Eternal Fire here, and today we're going to be talking about the weak aura for the Devastator talent. So this has been a big topic. I've had a lot of questions about it. I've talked to a lot of people about it. And basically, Devastator is a really fun talent. It takes away the fact that you have to just sit there and spam Devastate and pray for Shield Slam to come up. And not to mention, since you know that was the only build, things have changed a lot. So you have... Devastator, which is your auto attacks now, you have Revenge and Thunderclap, they all have a chance, a 30% chance to reset the uh, cooldown on Shield Slam, which is your main ability, generates rage, lots of damage, blah blah blah. Uh, we're going to be talking about the weak aura today though and the reason for the weak aura. So basically what this, the the thing about Devastate is it's a fun talent, it takes it so it's not so so spammy, the, you know, the whole class, and the thing is, though, your your auto attacks have a chance to reset Shield Slam, but so do your abilities. And if you're spamming your ability at the same time that you're using it, you know, your, your character is just swinging, um, that can kind of negate the purpose of having Devastate uh, be Devastator as your auto attack. Because if it has a chance to reset the cooldown on Shield Slam, you hit those two abilities at the same time. And if they were to both proc Shield Slam, well, now you only get one Shield Slam out of it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, there's a link in the description below for the website to get the uh, code for, to import the code for the Weak Aura. So just go to Curse, download Weak Auras 2, and then follow that link. And what you're going to do is you're going to see a box with some code and you're just going to hit copy uh, copy uh, the code for the the weak auras for Devastator. Okay, so once you do that, you're just going to copy that. You're going to come into the game. You're going to do slash WA, all right? And you're going to see this tab here. If you've never used it before, that's fine. I'm going to walk you through it. So all you're going to do is go to import. Now you see this here. There's just control V, paste, and then you're going to hit import right here, okay? So now what you're going to see is you can minimize the weak aura options, and you're going to see this bar here. I'm just going to drag this bar down here. It doesn't really matter. You can put it wherever you want it. As you can see, like a lot of add-ons, uh, there's a lot of options. Uh, luckily, this add-on is pretty much set up to how you want it to begin with. You can make it wider, taller, whatever. We'll, we'll make it a little bit wider. We'll make it a little bit taller for the sake of the video and seeing it clearly. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to exit out now. And so you see it's a bar here with zero. Now we're going to go over and slap this dude. And as you can see, every time you hit with a regular swing, with a regular auto attack, the bar resets. Okay, so that's your timer, your swing timer right there. And basically every time this gets down to zero and you use a swing, you have a chance to proc shield slam like it just did right there. So that's what you want to use your revenge and your thunderclap around. Obviously, if shield slam comes up, you want to use it there. Okay, um, but that that is what this is all about is making sure that you're not using an aver a revenge like right there when it's about to you know use your swing timer. So let's let's take a look and see what that looks like. And that is what the whole thing about Devastator is. You don't want to be overlapping your swing timer with your abilities that you're using. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna shield slam. We're gonna use that ability. Nothing. Okay. We got a proc. And that is it. So you just want to be making sure that you are not overlapping abilities okay so that way you can have a chance of getting more shield slams and as you can see here we're not getting many procs which is kind of surprising normally you get a ton but that's RNG for you there we go we got a proc let it reset and there we go that's the perfect situation oh wrong button well where you hit ability you shield slam your white hit you get another shield slam, and that way you can get back-to-back -back shield slams. Get as many shield slams as you can in. Wow, this is a really bad run for shield slam. Not getting many procs at all. This is actually, I would say, rare. So that that is the whole that is the whole thing behind uh, behind weak auras. You just want to make sure that you're using Devastate to the fullest. Uh, I didn't play with this for the first week that Devastator was live, and to be honest, I really had no issue with getting Rage or getting Shield Slam to proc. Uh, maybe I wasn't getting the most use out of Shield Slam or the Devastator talent, but I still had a lot of fun. I was super effective. I did lots of damage, had lots of mitigation, had no problems, did a lot of progressive content, and, you know, it wasn't an issue. But this is just a little way you can you can uh, focus on doing a little bit better. So 
that's that's basically what this is all about so you know you can just kind of watch hopefully get some more procs out of it this seems to be going a little bit better and then basically when it's gray it's something i read on the uh the weak aura page when it's gray you don't want to or when you when it's gray that's when you can use an ability when it's red you don't want to um i'm not really sure how it works i just watch the swing timer itself so that's what i focus on and uh and that's that boys i just wanted to share that with you i've had a lot of questions about devastator and how to use it effectively blah 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 that's it that's you know just an add-on that basically you can watch your white hit swing timer so you can use your devastate and abilities uh to the maximum efficiency and you can move it wherever you want you can make it as big as small as you want so that's the add-on guys i hope it was helpful um i don't use weak auras too often i use lvi for different things so if you guys found this video helpful, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.